Hey folks, back. It's Dave back here in Studio B. And uh, another exciting game coming up of Cleveland Spiders baseball. Uh, the, the Spiders right now, unfortunately, started the season off 0-3 with three straight losses on the road to the St. Louis Perfectos. But now we've got some games coming up against the Colonels. Let me just get some stuff set up here. And while we're doing that, I do want to thank my uh, my Patreon people here who support not only this, this channel, but also Digital to Die. So thank you so much for doing that. New show dropped today. And actually, yeah, Ron picked uh, the topic out for that one, and it was um, learning to lose. <laughs> so, and uh, playing as the Spiders, boy, that couldn't come at a, any better time, right? Even though I'm not really playing the Spiders, I'm really going to be playing as the people who play against the spiders because I didn't want to go through that again but who knows I might play some spider games later on but we're going to have some fun with it today as we always do oh I'll Red Sox fans in the house thank you so much coming by Al all right so let's get down to the field all righty this is not the exact field but it's a nice old field and we're going to use it here so we're in Louisville today as the spiders will take on the Louisville Colonels and Philip Reynolds stopped by us by as well. And we got some new sponsors we want to mention here on the show. We want to welcome uh, Monarch Iron Range Company, the number one name in household appliances. You want to check out the Monarch Iron Range Company for all your Iron Range needs. And also, Parker Jointless Fountain... Let me say this again. The Parker Jointless Fountain Pens. Feel the comfort of the lucky curve with a one-piece barrel in your fountain pen. And there's only one name, and that is Parker, the Jointless Fountain Pen. So we have some terrific sponsors here on the show. And we'll be announcing more later on. And uh, Philip Reynolds is enjoying that hoops game. I need, I need to get that, I think. I think I'll pick that up at some point. All right, so here we go. Without any further introductions, let's get this game going here. So the Spiders will bat first. It's going to be Tommy Dowd at the plate. And pitching for the Colonels is going to be Bill Nagy. All righty. And let me just make sure that I am playing as Louisville. Yep. Okay. And we should be good to go. Here we go. And Dowd is going to slap that one right down at Richie at second base. And the hot hand comes up with that one, and there's one out here in the top of the first. And it's going to be George Bristow coming up. He's only had a couple at-bats this season for the Spiders, and he's hitting absolutely nothing. And the pitch, and this could be his first hit of the season. No, Richie comes up with again, so the second baseman busy down there for the Colonels. And now we got Joe Quinn coming up. Joe's hitting a respectable 231 early here in the season. And he faces Maggie, and Maggie is 1-0 uh, and o on the season. And the pitch to Quinn. Fly ball in the center field. Hoy back there. Hoy under it, and Hoy did. Oh, he makes the catch. Dummy Hoy with a nice catch out there in center field. That's one of my favorite names, Dummy Hoy. All righty, so I need to slide this over here. So here's my uh, Bedick Ballpark location. So I need to go to my left-handed batter. And slide the batter over a little bit. Left-handed batter. Yeah, I I just, this drives me nuts. So let's go to um, 355. Yep, there we go. Looks good to me. And Andrew's Tabletop Gaming drove by where the Colonels, drove by where the Colonels back then played. There's a McDonald's in now. Oh, okay. Kind of cool. Alrighty, so it's going to be Fred Clark coming up. He's hitting 294. He's going up against Harry Maupin. And Harry Maupin is, um, let me see. He hasn't played yet this season. So this is his first game for Maupin. All right, here comes the pitch to Clark. Clark and hits this down to second base. And this is going to be gobbled up and then thrown out. Nice play by Quinn down there. To get it over to Tucker, and Clark is retired. Now we got Dummy Hoy coming up. Come on, Dummy. Let's see if we can get this going. As the Colonel's batting here in the bottom of the first. Fly ball in the center field. Oh, no, actually he's going to go into right field. Sullivan will come over and make that catch kind of in the gap. And is two away. Now we have Charlie Dexter. 
He's hitting 150 here early in the season. And Dexter takes the pitch, slaps it down the third, and Cross gets that one. And he throws him out. So after one, we have no score here in Louisville. And we'd like to thank another one of our sponsors, Wesson Cooking Oil, the first commercial all-vegetable shortening cooking oil. So you might want to go down to uh, Monarch Iron Range Company, get that new range, and then start cooking with Wesson Cooking Oil. And we got Lave Cross coming up. He's hitting a outstanding 154 this season. And he struck him out. Down goes Cross. And Lockhead. Now I need to slide him over a little bit. Edit ballpark. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I want. Edit ballpark locations. So we're going to slide the right-handed batter over just a little bit. So we're going to back him up to about 252. Yep, that's a little bit better. Here we go. Dummy Hoy is quite impressive. He made. Uh, I think I did hear that. I think the last time I played the spiders there, someone brought that up. Andrew, thank you for bringing that up again. He was um he was deaf. Nice job. <clears throat> and Lockhead's gonna line this one at Richie. Richie's been a busy boy. I think he's put out three out of the four batters already. So it's gonna be Joe Sugden. Joe is he's doing pretty well here. He's only got four at bats, but he's hitting 750, so he's a bright spot here for the Spiders. He better be careful. He'll end up in St. Louis. And he'll single, so he's hitting really well here for the Spiders. So sucked in is on. And Tommy Tucker now is going to try to sing for his supper. And let me give a little bit more space there in the ballpark location with my left-handed batter. So I'm going to slide him over to about 360. There we go. And a little bit of space. There we go. And, um, yeah, that was a good episode today, uh, World's Worst Gamer. Yeah, that was uh, Ron put that together. That was Ron's idea, so he had a he had a really good idea to talk about that today. It was kind of directed towards me a little bit, but I think it uh, it affects us all. All righty, Tucker up at the plate. And uh, he's going to get a single and a one. No, it's a line drive at Klingman, and he hangs on to that one. So we go to the bottom of the second here in Louisville. It is no score. We check the out-of-town scoreboard. Uh, what's that? Washington over Boston, 8-1. to one. St. Louis over Pittsburgh, one to nothing. Philadelphia over Brooklyn. And that's the Brooklyn... Oh, I had all these names figured out, too. Uh, the New York Giants leading Baltimore and Cincinnati over the Chicago Orphans. I forget what Brooklyn is. I need to write down these team names. I'm getting a little bit better at, at these team names. And here's some guy named Honus Wagner coming up now for Louisville. So Wagner is hitting 263 with a double this season. And Maupin will pitch to Wagner. And Wagner gets a hold of this one. And that's going to go in to center field over the head of Dowd. Almost bouncing over the fence. And he'll throw it back in. And Wagner has a double. So, all righty. And let's see. Um. It's going to be Decker, George Decker, coming to the plate with nobody out for Louisville. And Decker hits this one down the second. Quinn coming over, and Quinn will gather it in. He'll try to throw it to first. Uh oh, we got a rare play. Rare play. Hmm. Line shot. It catches the mound right to second, and he throws him out. All right, so that's a that's an out by Quinn, but it moves Wagner over to third. So. Honus Wagner down to third base, and it's going to be Richie, the second baseman. Richie batting 400 for the Louisville Colonels, and he got the walk. So he's got the Pantera walk, and it's going to be Klingman now. Klingman's hitting 056. He's not doing very well. The corners are in for Cleveland. Maupin delivers to Klingman, and he's going to hit this one in the right field. And in run scores, and Richie goes to third, and Louisville is off and running here with a one nothing lead over the Cleveland Spiders. And our first run, that is going to be our box root beer run of the game. Drink Barks. It's good. Barks has only been on the market for one year, folks, but here in 1899, we love it here in the broadcast booth. As we're getting ready for our centennial pres. Uh, Centennial next year, as uh, being 1899, next year is 1900, the big 1900. And I imagine Cleveland's going to have all kinds of festivities there. 
Be sure to uh, set your clocks back and make sure that you don't have any Y2K going on. As the year 1900 approaches us, it's a big milestone as we go into the 20th century. Kittredge comes up. Kittredge is the catcher, and he's going to hit it down to first base. Tucker throws home for the out. Oh, good play by Tucker to gun down the runner. And so now there's two away and two on base. And it's going to be the pitcher, Maggie. And Maggie will single up the middle. Klingman is coming around. They're going to wave him home. The play at the plate, he is safe. And so Kittredge will take third on the play, and it's two to nothing. Two to nothing for the Colonels. All righty. And now coming up is Clark. He grounded out. We still got two outs here in the second. And he's hit by the pitch. Moppin hit him, and now the bases are loaded. And Dummy Hoy comes up. Dummy Hoy getting the signal from the third base coach. Dummy flo flied out in the first. Base is loaded. Big chance here for Dummy Hoy. And he will strike out. Moppin blew it right, be uh, right by him. And we go to the third. And this was the last year Louisville was in the majors. They took all their plays and moved to Pittsburgh. Hmm. That was been a weird time back then. It'd be funny. We talked about on the show, you know, uh, you know, going back and, and revisiting uh, a past event. It'd be fun to go back and kind of watch this stuff play out, you know, now that we, you know, we're 122 years later, you know. All righty. Suter Sullivan, the right fielder, comes up. And it's 2 nothing Colonels here in the top of the third. And he's going to pop this one up over to Wagner. And Wagner hauls that in with his bare hand and is one away. Maupin, the pitcher, coming up. He is, uh, I don't think he has any at-bats yet. Or he's not showing anything. And he hits it down to shortstop. And he gobbles that one up. And he is down. And so now it's Tommy Dowd. Tommy Dowd hitting 143. He lined out back in the first. And he'll single. In the left field. And so Dowd is on. And it's George Bristow. He is the left fielder. Bristow, Bristow. And Bristow. Uh-oh. And Dowd takes off and he steals the base. Kittredge wasn't ready for that one there. And Dowd is now in scoring position for the Spiders. Ooh, what a tangled web. He, we he uh, wove on that one. Bristow. Hit by the pitch. Uh-oh. Maggie's in trouble now. There's a couple of spiders here on the base. And it's going to be Joe Quinn. Joe Quinn. Joe Quinn. Ground ball in the second. Richie's been a busy boy today. And he'll handle that one. And we'll go to the bottom of third here in Louisville. And it's still 2 nothing Colonels. Here's Charlie Dexter, the right fielder. Dexter. He's going to fly this one into center. Dow underneath it. And Dowd will make that catch in his one away. Honus Wagner is one for one with a double in this game. And Wagner will hit this one into the gap again. And that's going to hit off the wall. Wagner will round second for his, and stop there. It's his second double of the game. So Honus Wagner turned out to be a pretty good player here for this Louisville team. George Decker coming out. One out. Man on second. And he grounded out. George Decker. And Decker grounds us to third. Wagner has to stop. Cross with the play. And now there's two down, and it's going to be Richie. Richie's 0 for 1 with a walk. Uh, 0 for 0 with a walk. Can he get the run in? And he's going to ground this one down to third, and Cross comes up with this one again. And that'll retire the side. So, nothing across for Louisville in the third. We go to the top of the fourth. It is 2 0. And we'd like to thank another sponsor, Pepsi Carbonated Soft Drink, formerly known as Brad's Drink. It relieves indigestion, and it tastes great. Pepsi Carbonated Soft Drink. All right, it's Lave Cross up at the plate, and Lave's going to single this one in the left field, the one right by Klingman, and the Spiders are in business. Harry Lockhead, he lined out back in the second. Lockhead takes the pitch, swings at this one down the third. They'll get to play at second only. And Lockhead will get the first on a fielder's choice and is one away. Joe Sugden, he is the catcher for the Spiders. 
And Sugden will ground ball down the short. Klingman trying to get there, and no, it gets by him. It gets by Klingman, goes into the outfield. Lockhead's going to head down the third, and the Spiders, with one out, have runners at the corners. Woohoo! Here we go. Tucker coming up now, trying to get the Spiders on the board here in the fourth. Tucker, fly ball to center field. Dummy Hoy underneath it, and can't make the play. A run will come in, and the Spiders are on the board as Dummy Hoy, watch that, land right in front of him. <clears throat> and it's now 2-1 to one with runners still at the corners. So Maggie on the mound, Bill Maggie shaking his head. Can't believe that the Spiders have pulled it within one. The winless Spiders. Sullivan, strike him out. So now there's two away, and it's going to be the pitcher, Hoppin, coming up. Hoppin will line it right at Richie, and he's going to need a new glove at the end of this one. He's been using that one all day. All right, so let's go to the bottom of the fourth. It's tightened up a bit. It's 2-1. to one. Klingman coming up. He singled earlier in the game, and Klingman, uh-oh, he gets a hold of this one. That is deep. Sullivan back, and Sullivan will make the catch. Hmm, one away. Kittredge hit into a field this choice. And Kittredge will wrap this one in the center field. He's on base. All righty. So Kittredge is on. And he is uh, the insurance run right now. Now the pitcher, Bill Maggie. He's got a single in this game and an RBI. Maggie, uh-oh, he hits this one. Line shot a lockhead. Oh, he came that close to his second hit. And now there's two away. And Freddie Clark comes up. Freddie Clark, 0 for 1 in this game. Ground ball to short. Lockhead coming over. Can he get to it? No, it gets by him. And, he thro and it's thrown back in. We got an error on the play. And Kittredge ends up to third. Clark at second. Holy cow. And went off the glove of Lockett. He threw it away. So it's a single and an error. And everybody moves up a base. So Louisville. And it's Dummy Hoy at the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Come on, Dummy. Let's get it done here for Louisville. And he will single. This one into the opposite field. One run scores. Clock coming around. Here comes the play at the plate. He scores. And it's now 4 to 1 on the hit by Dummy Hoy. Nice job there. And that is our... Santa Tojan brain tonic hit of the game. It's the number one choice for no for nerve revitalizers. It's Santa Togan brain tonic. Check it out. It's good. It revitalizes your nerves. That's what they say. <laughs> it's Charlie Dexter up. 0 for 2. Dexter line five right at the shortstop. And that'll end the fourth. But Louisville picks up a couple. They lead four to one. And again, we like to to thank Martha White Premium Brand Flower for being another sponsor here on Cleveland Spiders Ticker Tape Network. We're not on the radio yet, so I can't say radio. So we have the uh, Cleveland Spiders Ticker Tape Network. And let's see. Uh, hey, Bradford, thanks for coming by. You're not the only one that loves these basically spreadsheet. I, yeah, this is fun. I like this. Front office, football, baseball, mogul, east side hockey. Yeah, they're, I mean, there's fun to be had in all these games. There really is. I'm loving this little goofy spiders thing I'm doing. This is just so much fun. Tommy Dowd coming up. And Tommy Dowd's going to line this down to Klingman. And there's one away in the Cleveland fifth. George Bristow. And Bristow lines it at Klingman again. Ooh, he's holding his hand. That one hurt. His gloves really aren't made all that well back here. In 1899, we hear next year in 1900, there are going to be some major improvements to our equipment here in baseball. Joe Quinn comes up, and Joe Quinn hits us down to Richie, and Richie scoops it up, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Spiders. So let's go to the bottom of the fifth, 4-1 Louisville. Some big news out of the out-of-town scoreboard coming across my ticker tape right now. Washington, an 11-6 lead over Boston. And Pittsburgh now up 3-2 over St. Louis. Philadelphia 2-0 over Brooklyn. The New York Giants leave the Baltimore Orioles 6-1. to 
And it's the Chicago Orphans, five, and the Cincinnati Reds, one. So that gets you caught up on our Paul Mall out-of-town scoreboard stats. Paul Mall premium cigarettes. Don't settle for an average smoke. Choose Paul Mall premium cigarettes. That's Wagner up. He's two for two with two doubles here. And Wagner will fly this one into center field. Dow will get there this time, and he'll rob Wagner of another hit. And so does one away. Decker ground ball down to Quinn. And quickly, there's two away. Richie coming up against Maupin here. Richie will slap this one in the right field. So a single for Richie. He's on here with two away. And it's going to be Klingman now. Billy Klingman, the shortstop, one for two today. Klingman going to try to get some insurance runs. Klingman will wrap this one in the right field as well. And Richie's going to head to third base. The throw, and he is safe. Ooh, nice throw by Sullivan, but Richie's indeed in there. So it's runners at the corners now for the catcher, Malachi Kittredge. Was that Malachi? Malachi Kittredge. Malachi Kittredge. One for two today. And Malachi. Ground ball down first. Tucker. All by himself will scoop that one up, and that ends the inning. So let's go to the sixth. Four, one, Colonels. Cross at the plate, and Cross pops this one up to Wagner down at third, and Wagner with an easy catch. And Harry Lockhead coming up. Lockhead, he's going to wrap this one in the center. Dummy Hoy underneath that one, and he will make the grab, and that is that. Sugden is the catcher. With two away, Sugden, he'll hit this one in the center. Dummy Hoy under that one again. Dummy Hoy makes the catch, and he tosses the ball into the stands, and then they ask for it back because they only got one ball left, so that the fan has to throw it back in to Dummy Hoy. He gives him a wave. Thank you very much, so we can at least finish the game. And we'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Four to one, Colonels. It's going to be the pitcher, Maggie. And Maggie, who's got a single in this game, gets another single. So the pitcher doing some damage here as well. So it's a man on. And it's going to be Clark. And Clark. And he's going to he's going to fool everybody here. He's going to drop down a bunt. And he pops it up. And it's a poor bunt. And there's one away. Oh, man. Hmm. And so Dummy Hoy comes up. So bad, bad bunt by Clark. Dummy Hoy, uh-oh, grounds us back to the pitcher. Only plays the first. Maggie goes down to second, so now there's two outs. And it's going to be Charlie Dexter. Dexter! And he's going to hit this one up the middle. And they're going to send Maggie home. Around the base. Here comes the play at the plate, and Maggie is safe. And it's another run for the Colonels, and they lead 5-1. to one. And that was our Ben Gay Hustle of the Day. Ben Gay for sore joints, arthritis, backaches, and bruises. Try brand new Ben Gay. Wagner up. He's got two doubles and a fly out. Wagner with a man on. Uh-oh. Wagner, he got all of this one. It's into the gap. Dowd and Bristow converging. They can't get it. Wagner will go all the way to third, and another run comes in. So this Wagner guy is pretty good. Two doubles and a triple. I might have to play the Colonels. I'm kind of liking the Colonels. Dummy Hoy. Wagner. Pretty good. I like these guys. All righty. So Decker up at the plate. Three ground outs for Decker. Three ground outs. And Decker is going to ground it out again down to second base unless he can get it by him. And he does. It gets by the second baseman. Quinn can't come up with it. And Wagner comes in to score. And it's 7-1 Louisville. Richie up at the plate with two outs and a man on first. And he will... He'll get a hold of this one, slaps it in the right field. Sullivan has it, throws it back in. Decker goes to third, and now that's 14 hits. <laughs> Woo-hoo for the Colonels. <laughs> wow, we're not even at the seventh inning yet. 14, <laughs> 14 hits. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> All right, Klingman up now. He's uh, two for three. This is fourth at bat. We're only in the sixth inning. And Klingman will ground this down to first. Tucker going over, trying to get this one, and it gets by him. It gets in the right field, 
And another run comes in for all the Colonels. Richie goes down the third. It's now 8-1, to one, and Maupin's on the mound shaking his head. We feel for you. We feel for you. Kittreds, and he's going to hit this one in the right field as well. Another run comes in. Klingman down the third. That's 16 hits now for the Colonels, and it's now 9-1, to one, and it's just getting out of hand. I think it's good time for a box root beer. Drink box. It's good, and it's brand new here in 1899. Fan favorite for the Cleveland Spiders. And now we got to finally get Maggie, the pitcher, lining out, and that mercifully ends the sixth inning. Five more runs for the Colonels. It's 9-1. to one. Tommy Tucker coming up, the top of the seventh. And he's going to hit this off the end of the bat right at home as Wagner. Wagner makes that catch and is one away. Sullivan's 0 for 2 in this game. Sullivan, he pops it up. Wagner will get this one as well. And now there's two away. Mop in the pitcher. And he will get his bat on this and gets it by Klingman. Gets it in the left field. Clark scoops that up. So Mop in the pitcher gets a hit. And he's on base. Yep. And Box Root Bear apparently uh, was invented in 1898. And they're uh, their official sponsor of Spiders Ticker Tape Radio. No, Spiders. Cleveland Spiders Ticker Tape Network. i got to get it right. It's not the radio network. It's a ticker tape network. <laughs> uh, drink parks. It's good. That was the slogan. And Dowd will pop this up, and that'll end the top of the seven. So let's go to the bottom of the seven. Fred Clark coming up. And Clark, he's going to get a hold of this one. It's going to dribble right up the middle for a base hit. So another... Another Louisville hit. That's 17 hits on poor Maupin out there. And you wonder how long they're going to leave him in. Dummy Hoy coming up. He's one for four. This is his fifth at bat in the game. And he's going to ground this to the pitcher. The only play is the first. Clock will hit down a second, so they get one away. It's Dexter now. And Dexter pops this one up. Lockhead will make the play. And is two away. Wagner coming up. He's three for four. Two doubles and a triple. Wagner. And he will get a single. And he will get a single this time. He's got a single, double, and a triple. And they're going to try to send Clark home here. One to 17. Play at the plate. And he's out. Oh, it was a close play at the plate. And they threw him out. And that ends the inning. So no runs. For the Colonels there, but we go to the top of the eighth. It's 9-1. to one. And, again, we want to thank our sponsor here, Palm Olive. Combining palm and olive oil, it's easy on your dishwashing hands. Try Palm Olive dishwashing liquid today. And, again, if, you, uh, if you're if you going to write the recap after this game, you want to use Parker Jointless Fountain Pens. Feel the comfort of the lucky curve with a one-piece barrel. Parker is the name for your jointless fountain pen. Bristow at the plate now, and he's going to pop this one up to Richie. Boy, I'd like to see how many putouts Richie's has. He must have, like, eight putouts in this game. Quinn at the plate. Cleveland. And strike him out. It's only the third strikeout of the game for Maggie, but he gets him down. And it's going to be Cross coming up for the Spiders. And Cross, he will get this one down and pass Klingman in the left field. So Cross is on. That's the seventh hit for Cleveland. A respectable seven hits in this game. And Lockhead at the plate. He's uh, 0 for 3. Boy, they might kick him off the team. He's the only guy without a hit. And he gets underneath this one. And Decker... Hauls that in, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. And so it's going to be the Colonels batting now. Decker up. He is the first baseman. And he gets a hold of this one in the right field. <laughs> Hit number 19 for the Colonels. And Maupin is still in the game. Richie up now. Richie will slap this one up the middle. That's another hit. And so it's going to be first and second. And Maupin is tied. Yeah, you think? 19 hits. So Maupin is tired. I think the computer's controlling them, right? 
Cleveland managed by the computer, so we're going to let it go. So Klingman coming up now. Klingman is three for four. We're going to try a hit and run. I'm going to change pitches. So Stivitz comes in, and we're still going to try the hit and run here. Chance for hit 27%. Yeah, why not? Why not? And it comes to, and he's going to walk him. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, I guess he hit it. It said walk, but I guess he hit it. I don't know how the hit and runs work yet. So, well, we move the runners over. So with one out, it's Kittredge coming up. This is his fifth at bat. He's two for four. So Jack Stivitz on the mound now for Cleveland. And it's going to be a line drive right at Quinn. So Quinn makes the catch, saving at least one run. And so now the pitcher, Maggie, comes up. 20 hits for the, for the Colonels in this one. And Maggie will hit the fly ball in the right field. Sullivan makes that catch, and that retires the side. So let's go to the top of the ninth here. Last gas for the Spiders here on the Cleveland Spiders ticker tape network. Again, try dentine gum. Sweeten your breath. Prevent decay. Keep teeth white. Brand new dentine gum. Check it out at your local pharmacy today. And also Palm Mall Premium Cigarettes. Don't settle for an average smoke. It's Paul Mall Premium Cigarettes. Brand new in 1899. Sugden coming up. Sugden will slap this one in the right. So the hits continue for Cleveland. They got eight now. They only need eight runs to tie. Tucker at the plate. And Tucker draws a walk. So Maggie starting to tire here maybe a little bit in the ninth inning. Sullivan coming up. He is 0 for 3. And Sullivan lines it right at Klingman, so it is one away. Spiders down to the last two outs. Stivitz, the pitcher. They're going to let him hit. Uh, nope, they're not. They're going to bring in Chief Zimmer. Chief Zimmer coming out of the dugout, and he's going to hit for the pitcher. The pitch to Zimmer, and he walks him, and the bases are loaded. Oh, boy. So Maggie's in trouble. He is tired. He only needs two outs, and he's got an eight-run lead. Here comes the pitch, and Dowd pops it up to Klingman, and there's two away now, and they're going to leave him in. They're going to let Maggie try to get out of this jam. Bases are loaded, but he's leading by eight. And here is the pitch. Ground ball. No, oh, it's hit in the right field. And a run comes in, and it's now first and third. Oh, two runs come in on the hit. Oh, he was tired. That's why. <laughs> We'll let him go one more batter. And it's 9-3. to three. So the Spiders rallying here with two outs. And the pitch. This is a fly ball in the left. Clark should have it, and he does. And that ends this one here. So with the final score, the Colonels 9 and the Spiders 3. Let's take a look at our stats here for this one here. Uh, Wagner 2 for 4 looked good today. Who else looked good in this game here? Um, hmm. Oh, Wagner with four hits. I'm sorry. Wagner with four hits. Richie with three hits. Klingman with three hits. Holy cow. 20 hits in total. Nine runs for the Colonels. And they do it here. Wagner with a single, double, and a triple in this game. And that is that. So Maggie, 2-0, and oh, got the victory. Allowed three runs in a game. Hoppin is 0-1. Oh and he, got, he gave up nine runs in seven innings. So that is that. We'll check our standings, if you will. So we'll go to our league stats. And uh, Cleveland falls to 0-4. Louisville moves to 4-2 and on the season. But everyone's still trailing Philadelphia. And that's the Philadelphia... I forget the Philadelphia name. Athletics, maybe? What is the Philadelphia team? I, I need to know this stuff. <laughs> I need to know this stuff. Um, Philadelphia. Oh, it is the Phillies. I didn't know it was the Phillies back then. Jeez, I, I thought it was something else. Oh, well. So, anyway, so that's our that's our league stats right there. Phillies are 6-1, and one and Cleveland starting off 0-4 to start the season. So, good times here as we go back to Studio B. We'll wrap this up here. Just wanted to get, um, get, get on a little early tonight. I get my early day tomorrow. I get playoffs tomorrow morning at, at uh, 
6 o'clock in the morning, so i got to be up tomorrow to get the ring. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Boy, the Cleveland Spiders, it is kind of fun. I think it'll be opening day baseball. We'll have to play some Spiders here on the channel. So, again, thanks to all my fictitious sponsors here on the show. Thanks to everybody here that tuned in tonight as we try to have some fun with the Spiders. And, again, thank you to uh, the Patreons for Digital to Dice and also this channel here. Thank you so much for your support here on the, on the show. I'm Dave. Hope you guys had a good day. Hope you uh, enjoyed our uh, opening day. I watched a little bit of baseball today, and I'll probably listen when I go to bed tonight. Is um, yeah, it's baseball season now. Sox play tomorrow, I think. If in case anybody's wondering, but hey, thanks for tuning in tonight, and you guys have a great day. Bye bye.